Hello, I'm Michael, and today I will be reviewing the MX-10 camcorder from Samsung. Do you usually watch YouTube? Unlike a long time ago, today it is easier for people to shoot and upload videos. So many new videos have been appearing daily on YouTube lately, like the one I'm making right now. What? It's hard to shoot and edit and upload your videos? Then you have to pay attention to the new MX-10 from Samsung that I will be reviewing today. Samsung MX-10 is very affordable for UCC users. For UCC, it has reduced some additional parts, so its price could come down dramatically. It's a camcorder that has only the necessary functions. These functions have been selected carefully. Shall we look at it? The pouch provided is for protecting the device. The lines are very chic and stylish. Even though the price is low, its design is very nice. And the MX-10 is a flash memory type camcorder that is light and easy to use. When UCC camcorders use tapes, then it may be very inconvenient. The swivel grip has been adapted to the MX-10. This makes your grip comfortable when you're shooting something. It can be swiveled to an angle of 150 degrees, which is good for shooting. The backside consists of simple buttons for shooting, switches, and an indicator. And on the upper part, it has a groove to indicate the location of the zoom switch and for improving the grip. Shall we look at the display? The MX-10 supports shooting of the ratio of 4 to 3, but depending on the subject of the shot, it may monitor by enlarging the ratio to 16 to 9. Also on the display part, the record button and the zoom functions can be found. When you shoot a high-powered shot, the camcorder operates reliably. With the eye check button that is on the side, you can check the remaining battery power and memory, even when the camcorder is turned off. It is very convenient. Also, it supports easy Q mode, so it is very easy for beginners to shoot using the auto mode. I think it has to be well equipped if it is a UCC camcorder. I think its basic functions are very reliable. In the bottom, the battery and memory are inserted, and the supporting memory is SD, and SDHC and MMC Plus are also supported. If you have a reader that supports these memory cards, then you can move the images in your camcorder to the PC easily. The movies are compressed to MPEG-4 format and saved, so you can shoot three or four times more than a normal camcorder. I mentioned a little before, the MX-10 supports 34 times for optical zoom. Using the Schneider lens, the picture is relatively clear after zooming in 34 times. Also, by using digital zoom, you can zoom the picture in about 1,200 times. But it is expanded electronically, so the image quality and the definition may not be perfect. When you shoot pictures telescopically using the optical zoom, it will inevitably shake but the MX-10 provides ESI, which is an anti-shake device, so you can shoot stable images. When you connect it to a USB port, the MX-10 can be used as a mass storage device or as a webcam by using the menu. When you use this as a webcam, you can have a video chat with programs like MSN Messenger. The power director of the Cyberlink that is provided is also a useful program. It is a tool for making movies for beginners, so it can edit the images easily and it can also be used to add good effects. Also, it can be connected straight to YouTube, 
so it can be used to upload video easily. I have explained the MX-10 as if it is the perfect camcorder. Of course the MX-10 has some weak points. On high powered mode, a little chromatic aberration may be generated, and the wide display is also possible only when expanding the monitor. So these functions are not that useful. But these weak points of the MX-10 don't really matter when compared to its strong points, like an affordable price, trouble-free shooting, and its convenient editing functions. I'm Michael. Thank you.